So a new project is started and for the new project, they want to use what database. Okay, now because for every project needs what database, where it is .NET, uh, Java now, uh, web, uh, mobile, uh, any application you take. So every project needs database. So then, and for that new project, they want to use one database. They want to use SQL server database. They decided, they decided to use what's it? Microsoft database. What is that Microsoft database is? SQL server. Then in that company, so in that organization, so there is a called DBA. DBA. What is DBA means? Database admin, database administrator. What DBA will do? DBA will take one computer. Will take one computer. DBA will take one computer. In this computer, he install SQL Server. Will take one I configuration system. Okay, na? Will take one I configuration system. What is I configuration means? What I'm serious. A new project is started. For the new project, they want to use database. And DBA will take one I configuration system. In that system, he install SQL Server. Okay. In that system, he install one SQL Server. What is I configuration system means? I configuration system means what? Latest processor more RAM, more hard disk. I configuration means latest processor, the more RAM, more hard disk. Hi. Then what is this system is called? This system is called server. Okay. After installing SQL server, what is this system is called? Server. This system is called server. Ah, now tell me what is server means? What is server means? Server is a system where SQL server software is installed. SQL server software is installed in this computer. This computer is called server. Okay, na? SQL server is installed in your laptop. Your laptop can be called as server. So server means server is a system where SQL server software is installed and running. So, okay, na? Then. so wherever SQL server software is installed, that computer is called server. If SQL server software is installed in mobile phone, so this mobile phone can be called as server, but not possible. Because SQL server is there for Windows, SQL server is there for Linux. SQL server is not there for Android. Your mobile phone runs on Android. So SQL server is not there for Android. So you cannot install SQL server on Android devices. You can install SQL server on Windows. You can install SQL server on Linux. But you cannot install SQL server on Android. And this is called what? Server. This is called server. And inside the server, what DBA will do? DBA creates what's it? Database. Inside the server, DBA will create what? Database for the new project. So suppose the new project is sales project. And what DBA will do? DBA creates one database what the database is, sales database. The new project is bank project. He creates one database called what? Bank database. The new project is what? Like the new project is for, uh, like uh, suppose finance, okay, na? then so DB. So depends. 
Suppose the new project is sales project. He creates one database. What the database is? Sales database. Now, what is ready? Now, what is ready? Server is ready. Inside the server, database is also ready. He'll be learning how to install. He'll be learning how to create the database. Everything he'll be learning. Okay, na server is ready. Inside the server, database is also ready for the new project. Ah, uh, now next, sir. Like suppose here there are some developers. Okay, na there are some developers. Like developer one, developer two, developer three. There are some three developers assigned to work with this database. Okay, there are three developers assigned to work with the database. So then, every day, what these developers have to do? Okay, now, every day, what these developers have to do? Every day, these developers have to connect to the server and work with. database these developers have to connect to the server work with the database so tell me can they directly sit in front of the server and work with the database developers developers can sit in front of the server and work with the database what i'm asking is can you directly work with the servers that is not possible that is not recommended okay na that is not practical also you cannot directly work with servers because servers are located somewhere okay na server is located in singapore okay server is located in what sir singapore so like suppose is him bank server is there in singapore are we going to singapore to do the money withdrawal money deposits no we go to what atm We go to ATM. From ATM, you do the money withdrawal, money deposits. What is ATM is called? Okay, uh, full form is okay. But what is that ATM is called? Next, another example. Gmail server is there in America. Are you going to America to send to receive the emails? To send the email, are you going to America? No. so from your laptop also if internet connection is there you can send this to the email or not yes okay na ah uh, so if it is banking we use atm if it is gmail we use our laptop okay na what is atm what is your laptop is called they are called client they are called what sir client so remember anywhere we don't directly work with servers you are not allowed also for security reasons you are not allowed to work with what servers so in some companies so they maintain the servers in separate room nobody is allowed into that room only other either people like dbs database admins are allowed into that room okay na so we are not supposed to directly work with what servers and we use one system what that system is called we use one system what that system is called client system just listen we use one system what that system is called client system and using this client system every day you connect to the server submit the request receive the response okay na then what developers will use developers will directly work with servers no developer will use client client means maybe his laptop developer uses one laptop using that laptop he connect to the server submit what request and receive the response okay then submit the request receive the response <laughs> so 
next one second to connect to the gmail server what should be installed in your laptop to connect to the gmail server what should be installed in your laptop google chrome browser what should be installed browser if browser is there you can open the browser type gmail.com so go to gmail send and receive the emails yes or no to connect to the bank server what should be installed in atm atm is a mission in that mission some software should be installed or not that software will ask ask you to insert the card enter pin number enter amount select money withdrawal money deposit that is software yes or no some software should be installed in the laptop uh, sorry atm mission yes so like similarly so in your like in gmail in your laptop what should be installed google chrome should be installed so using that google chrome you connect to the gmail server similarly you also what should be installed in the client computer what should be installed in the client computer one tool should be installed in the client computer what is that tool is ssms what is the tool ssms what is ssms stands for ssms stands for sql server management studio what is ssms stands for sql server management studio that <clears throat> SQL Server Management Studio. So this tool should be installed in your computer. Sir, okay. Now, <clears throat> so now tell me, like uh, developers, developers uses what, sir? Client computer means maybe his laptop. Nowadays, every developers working from home. Yes, they use their laptops. Using that laptop. sql server and work with database okay that so what should be installed in the server computer sql server what should be installed in the client computer ssms sql server management studio so sql server is server tool ssms is what client tool sql server sql server is server tool and what is ssms is ssms is what sir client tool okay that but now let's see what is the system this system is acting as what server and client this computer is acting as what server and client sql server is installed in this computer ssms is also installed in this computer so this computer is acting as both server and client but if you go to real time projects if you go to real time projects in real time projects so there will be what server sir here because i am using this computer for training purpose i am using this for training purpose how many at a time how many users use this only one faculty so only one that's why there is one computer in the computer the sql server is installed ssms is also installed in the same computer because it is at a time if you take so only one user will use this but if you go to real time projects in real time projects only one developer will work or group of developers group of developers will work with the database as i know so then that's why so what is this is called this is called server and inside the server then what they create they create what's a database this is the server and inside the server they create what database next so this is developer one laptop developer two laptop developer three laptops 
and all these developers sitting at different places because they are working from home okay na that they are sitting in different places and what they are doing is they are connecting to what server and they work with what database connect to the server work with the database now what is installing developer computer what is installing developer computer ssms is sql server is installing developer computer no sql server is not installed what is installing developer computer ssms tool is installed in developer 2 laptop they install ssms in developer 3 laptop they install ssms tool every day these developers will open ssms tool connect to server work with database got it that <laughs> so because in real time projects they use network why they use network because in real time projects group of developers will work with database but here i am using it for training purpose so there is only one will use this system so that's why sql server is installed in this computer ssms is also installed in the same computer okay na just i want to give the idea okay then fine ha ah, now tell me sir you want to practice sql server in your system to practice sql server in your system what softwares you have to install what softwares you have to install two two softwares you have to install one is one is sql server another one what ssms only installing sql server is not enough if you install only sql server then how to connect to the sql server okay na sir in your system no browser is there can you connect to gmail no similarly sql server is there but ssms also must be installed without the ssms you cannot connect to sql server to connect to sql server compulsory what must be there ssms must be there so then what what i found some students will try to install only ssms if you install only ssms also no use okay na if you install only ssms no use if you install only ssms then so what about this sql server using ssms you send the request but the request should be processed by sql server if you don't install sql server then who process your request so that's why to practice sql server in your system you need to install two what the term sql server and ssms so after installing these two then you can practice sql server so okay na that <coughs> now <coughs> okay <clears throat> okay fine so ah uh, but here like how to how to get this sql server okay na how to get this sql server that <clears throat> i'll i'll give that like uh, one second ah uh, what is this is called this is called what client server architecture this is called client server architecture in this there will be two what are the two server and client server and client ah uh, tell me what is server means what is server means then server is a what system where what 
SQL server is installed and running. Server is a system where SQL server is installed and running. I'll give the notes. You don't need to write. I'll give the notes. Now, like while explaining, don't write. Okay, now when I'm typing, you write. Okay, then. So, server is a system where SQL server is installed and running. Uh, next, uh, then inside the server, inside the server, SQL server manages what? Inside the server, SQL server manages database. But there will be two memories. One memory is called database. Here, one more memory is there. What is that memory is called? This memory is called what, sir? Instance. What is this memory is called? Instance. There will be two memories. One memory is called instance, one memory is called database. So, where the database is created, database is created in hard disk. Where instance is created, instance is created in RAM. What is both? Both are memories only. Database is a memory, instance is a memory. But database is what? Where the database is created? Hard disk. Where instance is created? RAM. So that means database is permanent storage. Instance is what? Temporary storage. Understood or not? So database is what, sir? Permanent storage. Instance is what? Temporary storage. What for we use databases? Yesterday I discussed it. What for we use databases? For storing the data. You store the data. When you store the data, it will not directly go to what's the database. First, your data is stored in what? First, your data is stored in temporary storage. Okay, now? Then. So, when you store the data, it will not directly go to what? Database. Initially, your data is stored in temporary storage. Instance. Next, you save it. When you save it, then it goes to database. Sir, this is paintbrush. This is paintbrush. In this paintbrush, I drawn one diagram. Now tell me where this diagram is saved. Oh, no, no. Uh, leave it uh, SQL server terminology. Okay, na? Uh, like in paintbrush, I drawn one diagram. Where this diagram is saved? RAM. RAM. Is it permanent? No. Tomorrow, I want to explain this diagram. Then, I need to save this or not? Yes. Uh, then, go to File. Next one, Save. When you select Save, this diagram is what? Saved permanently. Yes or no? Similarly, in SQL Server also, when you store, where it is stored? It is stored in RAM. It's not permanent. You save it. Then, after that, it goes to database. Okay? Then, you update. Where it is updated? instance you save it then it is updated in database or this so initially your operations performed on what instance after saving then your operations performed on database you understood or not then <clears throat> now so inside the server sql server manages two memories manages what set two memories. One is what? Database. Another one is instance. Ah. Where database is created in what? Hard disk. And instance is created in what? Instance is created in RAM. <clears throat> so, database is created in hard disk and instance is created in RAM. <clears throat> so, like database acts as what? What? Permanent storage and instance acts as what? Temporary storage.
initially where the data stored instance initially data stored in instance so after saving then it is copied to database sir okay na then <clears throat> that means to work with sql server how many softwares you have to install two softwares one is sql server another one ssms next like one is there what is that is client <clears throat> client what is the definition of client a client is also a a client is a what system client is also a system server is also a system but server you take i configuration for client you don't need to take i configuration systems so then a client is a system from where users can system from where users can what connects to server next one submit whatsapp request to server third one receives response from server okay na that connects to server submit the request to server receive the response from server so you can connect you can submit the request receive the response what is the client tool what is the client tool what is the client tool is ssms sql server management studio Sir, okay now. Then, <clears throat> no. <clears throat> so this is the client server. Okay, sir. Then, <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Then, <clears throat> like, how to what? how to how to install sql server how to download sql server okay then how to download how to download then <clears throat> one second <clears throat> so then now <clears throat> then now let's see <clears throat> oh. oh so okay now you know what is sql server like okay na oh. then if i ask you what is sql server then sql server is a software sql server is a software ha uh, used to manage whatsapp database so it is a software that manages what database okay the software that is used to create and manage what database understood or not then so now <clears throat> so if anyone ask you 
what is SQL Server means then. <clears throat> so, SQL Server then. What is SQL Server is? SQL Server is a software. SQL Server is a like software. But what software? DBMS. What type of DBMS means? On DBMS. I'll explain what it is on DBMS. So SQL Server is a RDBMS product from what? Microsoft. Okay. RDBMS product from Microsoft. Use it to create and to manage WhatsApp database. So is a RDBMS product from Microsoft. Use it to create and to manage database. So if anyone wants to create and to manage, managing means work, to work with the database, to create the database, you want to work with the database, then we use what? SQL Server. Understood? Then, so to create the database and to work with the database, then we use SQL Server. SQL Server, okay, then SQL Server, SQL Server can be used for both WhatsApp development and what administration. You can use it for development as well as you can use it for what administration. You can use it for development. You can use it for admin administration. Then, <clears throat> so then like you can use it for development as well as you can use it for admins so one one sql server can be used for both development as well as for administration okay now then development means development means what hmm? development like coding you can say coding. Coding is what? Development. Coding is what? Development. Okay, now writing programs. That is called development. What is administration means? Maintenance. Okay, now? Creating database. Developing the database. That is development. Maintaining the database. That is called administration. So, okay, now? Developing the database, that is called development. Maintaining the database, that is called administration. Like, okay, see, one second. This is also one most uh, widely asked question. And also, this is important for everyone. So, who is, like, whoever wants to learn SQL Server. So, this is important. Like, what is that important is, what are the, Roles and responsibilities of developer. What are the roles and responsibilities of WhatsApp DBA? That means what are the day-to-day -day activities in development? What are the day-to-day -day activities in WhatsApp DBA? Understood? Huh? Sir, is it okay or any confusion? Okay, now. Nah? Ah, what are the day-to-day -day activities of WhatsApp? Development. So what I'm saying, my statement is SQL Server can be used for both development. So what are the activities of development? What are the activities of what, sir? Admin. Admin. DBA means database administration. Okay, now? Then. So SQL Server is what, sir? RDBMS product. SQL Server is what? RDBMS product. Like, actually, See, there is a call what? There is a call what's it? DBMS. What is DBMS? Database Management System. Okay? So, like, actually, database is there. Okay, now? To maintain this database, you cannot directly work with what's it? 
database. You need a software. Yesterday also I discussed it. We can't directly work with what? Databases. You need a software. What is that software? DBMS software. What is DBMS? Database Management System. So this is the database. This is the one software. And this software is used to maintain what? Database. Okay. Next to and DBMS are different types. Okay, na? one is what? HDBMS, another one, NDBMS, next one, RDBMS, next to ORDBMS. What are these? These are the different types. Different types of what? DBMS. What is H means? Hierarchical. N means network. R means relational. OR means object relational. H means hierarchical. N means network. R means relational. OR means object relational. Okay? Ah. So, then, so DBMS, in DBMS, the different types are there, but in different types, these are outdated. What are outdated? HDBMS and NDBMS are what, sir? Outdated. Okay, now? Then, so, once again, just listen, listen, you know, DBMS, HDBMS, NDBMS, next one, RDBMS, ORDBMS. So, here, these systems are outdated. Outdated means no one using what? HDBMS. No one using what? NDBMS. Everyone uses RDBMS and ORDBMS. Relational and object relational. Okay, na? So, like, sir, you don't need in-depth of RDBMS, HDBMS, NDBMS. Just know what is what. Okay, na? Ah, then, what is RDBMS is. So here one DBMS to another DBMS, what the difference is? Difference is how the data organized. Okay, then. So for example, just listen. Suppose here, this is what database. This is the database. I am using what's that? One, what is that I am using is HDBMS. What is the system I am using? HDBMS. If I use HDBMS, then inside the database, how the data organized, data organized in what? Data organized in this structure. What this structure is called? Like this is the data organized like this. What this structure is called? Tree format. What this is called? Hierarchical. What this is called? Hierarchical. So the data organized in tree format. If we use if you use what? HDBMS. If you use HDBMS, how the data organized? Huh? Hierarchical. Suppose, for example, if I use NDBMS, data organized in nodes. Data organized in what, sir? Nodes. Like, uh, if I use RDBMS, suppose I am using what, sir? RDBMS. I am using, like, here I am using RDBMS. If I use RDBMS inside the database, how the data organized? Data organized in what? Tables. That is what? Rows and columns. Rows and columns. Okay, now? So, this became popular compared to HDBMS, NDBMS. This became what, sir? Popular. Because tree structure is a complex structure. Nodes are also complex. But table is what? Simple. The structure, table structure is what? Simple. Because of the simple structure, RDBMS became what, sir? Popular. You got it or not? Then. So that is why most of the companies started using what, sir? RDBMS. Most of the companies released their own RDBMS. Oracle is released Oracle. Microsoft is released SQL Server. IBM is released DB2. Like that number of companies released what? RDBMS products. Because usage of RDBMS is what? Increased. Because with HDBMS, NDBMS, there are complex structures. Only less companies use it. When RDBMS is introduced, most of the companies started using what? Databases. 
you got my point when rdbms is introduced most of the companies started using dbms so that is the reason most of the companies like uh, shifted from their old system to what rdbms okay na that <coughs> now so uh now tell me what is sql server i i give an sql server is a rdbms uh, now tell me what is sql server rdbms product rdbms product from ah uh, so what is rdbms relational database management system this is one of the type of dbms what for dbms are used dbms are used to maintain database all these are used to maintain what database hdbms are used to maintain database ndbms are used to maintain database rdbms are also used to maintain database all these systems are used to maintain database but this systems are outdated no one using it now present companies are using rdbms okay that now like if i ask you what is oracle then oracle is also oracle is also rdbms oracle is also one of the rdbms okay na oracle is also one of the rdbms yes or no sir here then you just to for understanding what sir vehicle vehicles are what sir like different types what is that is two wheeler four wheeler next one four wheeler like this ha huh? six wheeler okay na different types of vehicles yes okay ah uh, then what is the next one is suppose for example honda city then you compare dbms is what vehicle or dbms is what sir four wheeler sql server is what honda city okay na vehicles are two types like just i am taking two types two wheeler and what sir four wheeler honda city is one of the example for what four wheeler like that number of vehicles are four wheelers are there or not yes number of four wheelers are there from different companies similarly number of rdbms are there from different companies sir okay na then <clears throat> so like there is a company that company uses what database how the database is maintained then they say by using dbms which dbms rdbms which rdbms sql server understood ah uh, then programming languages okay na then pop op pop means procedure oriented programming op object oriented programming java next one c sharp c sharp dot net ah uh, now tell me what is programming this is programming programming okay na methodologies are two types ah uh, one is procedure oriented programming next one object oriented programming so c sharp and java comes under object oriented like c language comes under procedure oriented programming yes or no okay na like that c dbms okay then what is this is dbms dbms are what sir different types ndbms next one rdbms so what dbms okay but in this sql server this comes under what rdbms okay na that like you can compare programming dbms is same as what programming and rdbms is similar to object oriented sql server is example for rdbms like java is example for object oriented like sql server is example for rdbms understood or not ah then so if anyone ask you what is sql server means sql server is a what rdbms product okay na ah then they last 
what for this rdbms products are used uh, then what is your answer rdbms products are used to maintain the database to create the database and to maintain the database okay then <coughs> so like now uh, sql server can be used for both whatsapp development as well as for administration like what is it inside the database how you store the data tables because in rdbms how you store the data tables okay na if it is hdbms how you store the data tree formats hierarchical yes so then in rdbms you store the data in the form of tables ah uh, who create the tables who create the tables sir who create the tables like once again there is a tata motors everyone knows tata motors tata motors maintains database tata motors maintains what's it database their database contains 2000 tables tata motors database contains 2000 tables who created all these 2000 tables developers who create the tables developer so like one is what creating whatsapp tables okay na ah uh, creating tables what is the day to day activities in development creating tables not only tables there are number of objects are there in database not only tables there are various objects are there in database one is creating whatsapp views creating what creating what uh, synonyms okay na synonyms next creating what sequences next one creating what indexes and creating what what uh, trigger sorry creating what procedures creating procedures and creating what creating what functions and creating what triggers and writing what queries what is this is this is what sir the day to day activities in what development the day to day activities in what development if you join as a developer what developer SQL Server developer. If you join as a SQL Server developer, what are your day-to-day -day activities? Creating the tables, creating views, creating synonyms, creating sequences, indexes, procedures, functions, triggers, writing queries. These are your day-to-day -day activities. If you join as a developer, sir, okay na? If you join as a developer, your day-to-day -day activities are this. next so you don't know you don't know all this you'll be learning from this course you'll be learning you'll be learning all this from your uh, from this course okay na then next what are the day to day activities of what dba you join as a sql server dba if you join as a sql server dba what are your day to day activities then here like i said this okay na i explain this one yes or no ah uh, then tell me who install sql server inside the server who install sql server for a new project a new project is started for the new project they want to use sql server then tell me who install sql server who install sql server ha huh? ha developer okay na sir here in this system i install in your laptop you you can install i'll i'll explain i'll show how to install you can install but in companies they don't use pcs they use network in network who install sql server dba dba must know ah uh, what dba must know dba must know the installation of what sql server so dba must know 
what installation of what sql server <clears throat> You must know the installation of SQL Server. Okay, na? Then. So, next, after installing SQL Server, uh, then what he has to do? He has to create database. He has to create the database for the new project. Okay, na? Then. The new project is sales project. He creates one database for the sales project. Not one database. Just in example, I shown one database but in real time projects requires what sir maybe number of databases sometimes they use hundreds of databases okay now uh, then so what what dba must know what dba must know creating what sir database creating database creating database inside the server creating database inside the server you must know installation of sql server after installing you must know how to create what's a database uh, after creating the database uh, next uh, server is ready database is ready then what developers have to connect to the server or not yes developers every day developers will connect to the server and they work with what's a database yes or no but to connect to the server what is required? Like uh, suppose I'm, I want to connect to SQL server. You leave it all this. I'll show like, because I'll uh, show how to download, how to install that. So this is, what is this is? SQL server management studio. Using this SQL server management studio, you connect to the server. Yes or no? Ah, so like, ah, after installation, then every day developers will use SQL Server Management Studio connect to the server. But to connect to the server, what you have to provide? You have to provide login and password. You have to provide what's it? Login and password. So without giving the login and password, you cannot connect to the server. Because databases are secure. Understood or not? So not everyone can connect to the server. Only authorized people can connect to the server. Uh, that means what must be there? Login and password must be there. So then who create the login and password for developers? Who create the login and password for developers? DBS. Uh, then another one, creating logins. So DBA must know creating logins for the developers. Okay, then creating the logins for the developers. Next. <clears throat> then after this. Okay, next. So what is ready? Now database is ready. Now developers logins are also created for developers. Every day developers will, developers will connect to the server and they connect to the server and they work with what's that database. You see that here. What it is asking? Login and password. Limit this one server type. We'll explain. I'll show like in the next topic. I'll show how to connect to the SQL server. I'll explain all this. Okay, na? Uh, then, but to connect to the server, what it is asking? Login password. So who create the login and password for developers? DBA. Admin. Yes or no? Uh, then, now, okay. So, like he connects to the server, now you work with what's that? Database. You work with the database. Working with the database means what he will do? What developers will do? Developers create what's that? Tables, creating what? Views, create procedures, functions, triggers, and write queries. Every day, developers will connect to the server and they do this. Okay, na? then. So, 
and one developers working since one month since one month they are working with this database every day they are connecting to server working with the database and they are doing this since one month they created some tables how many tables they created suppose 100 tables they created and all the 100 tables are there in what all the 100 tables are there in database they created 100 tables all these 100 tables are there in database suppose next day so they went to office they connect to the server and they found that database is gone they found that database is what sir gone database is corrupted database is what damaged possibility there are not yes in your system one file is there sometimes the file may be corrupted or not yes so similarly database is what sir damaged database is corrupted then you don't need to worry because if database is damaged database contains 100 tables all the 100 tables are also gone or not yes then since one month they are working with this database whatever their effort their effort is wasted or not yes again what they have to do they have to recreate these tables yes again they have to spend another one month okay na but client won't accept like that yes or no ah so you don't need to worry just contact what's that dba within two minutes you'll recover the database if database is damaged just contact dba within two minutes you'll recover the database how it is possible because they maintain what's that backups they maintain what backups maintain backups what is backup means like this is what database then regularly what they do this database is copied to this database this database is copied to one file this is the database regularly copy this database to one file what is that file is called that file is called what's it backup file what is that file is called backup file that file is called backup file every day regularly database is copied to one file what is that file is called backup file so when this backup file is useful this backup file is useful when database is corrupted database is damaged you can recover the database from the backup file you can recover the database from the backup okay na uh, then who must know who, who create this backups admin not developer what admin okay na so like your certificate is important you got some certificate your certificate is important then what you do you keep one xerox copy okay na if original copy is what like license is there <coughs> license is there so you keep one xerox copy if original license is gone then you can go to rta office you can show what's it xerox copy then you can get the original copy yes or no okay na so like uh, when backups are useful so using this backup we can recover what's it database if original database is damaged original database is corrupted you can recover the database from the backup understood uh, who should know this taking the backup and recovering the database if any failure occurs who must know admin must know uh, sir see that's what they, they don't keep this in same hard disk maybe they keep it in different hard disk maybe they keep it in cloud storage also you can keep this backup file yes that's what here actually what i'm saying is this backup will not be there in the same server maybe you keep it in separate disk separate hard disk separate server maybe you can keep this in cloud storage also that facility is there okay na understood then <clears throat> so now uh, what is another one another one what database what's it backup and restore 
<clears throat> so database backup and restore. Now, <clears throat> so installation of SQL Server, creating database, creating logins, database backup and restore. Okay, next one. So, <clears throat> for example, like uh, just one second. So, this is like, uh, for example, say this is one, this is another one. Like say this is TCS server, TCS server. This is one bank, let's say HDFC bank or something, HSBC you know something, HDFC bank. So TCS developed a database. TCS has developed what's that? Database. TCS developed a database for whom? For some client. Who is that client is? HDFC. Understood or not? So TCS developed a database for some client. That client is HDFC. Now where is the database now? Uh, database is there in what sir? TCS server. Database is there in TCS server. Now this is developed for whom? HDFC. Now they have to move this database to HDFC server or not? Yes. They have to move this database to what? HDFC server. Okay, uh, then moving the database from one server to another server. Okay, then what is this is called? This is called database export and what's it? Import. Uh, who must know this export and import? Admin must know. We will be doing this exporting, importing. Exporting, importing means moving the database from one server to another server. Moving the goods from one country to another country, export and import. Yes or no? Similarly, you are moving the database from one server to another server. Export and import. Next. One client is there. That client is using old version of SQL Server. One client is using what's it? Old version. SQL Server 2000, like 14, etc. Something. Now, in market, SQL Server 2019 is released. Now, they want to use SQL Server 2019. Is it actually using what? 14. Now, you want to shift to do what? SQL Server 2019. What is this is called? This is called what's that? Upgradation. What is upgradation means? Moving from old version to the latest version. That is called upgradation. One client is using MySQL. It's not SQL server. It is a what? MySQL is a different product, different database. Now you want to shift to, to what? SQL server. You want to shift to the SQL server. Is he actually using what? MySQL. Now you want to shift to, to what? SQL server. What if this is called? This is called what's it? Migration. What is migration? Upgradation? Old version of SQL server to the latest version of SQL server. That is called upgradation. Migration means one database to another database. That is called migration. Uh, who must know this admin? Then upgradation and what's it? Migration. Online students, I'll answer all your questions after the class. Okay, now? 
and during the class it is difficult like after the class i'll clear all your doubts ah just wait wait for okay 5 minutes then what are the next one is okay na next one is uh, like uh, suppose here sir you just go to atm you want to do balance enquiry so there are some touch screen option balance enquiry option is there you enter the pin number now it will show the balance yes but to show the balance it is taking half an hour time to show the balance it is taking half an hour time we you wait for half an hour no then what you do cancel the request you go to next atm or you try after some time yes or no similarly here also user sends request to sql server you send what sir request you send request to sql server what is the request you send what type of request you send to the sql server user send request to sql server what type of request sir for always you have to remember this you send maximum four for the four create read update delete create the data read the data update the data delete the data you send a request to sql server what are the request you send updating you send a request updating but sql server is taking half an hour time to update is users can wait for half an hour no users send the request user wanted the response in seconds or fraction of seconds they cannot wait for what sir minutes as yes i know so user send the request they wanted the response in seconds or fraction of seconds but they cannot wait for minutes time if sql server is taking more time okay na then dba has to do something to make it run faster dba has to do something it has to do something to make it run faster every request should run faster okay na so dba will do something to make it run faster what is that is call that is call what is that is call performance tuning performance tuning means tuning means improving tuning means improving performance tuning means improving what sir performance the sql server performance is slow then you have to improve the performance improving the performance is call performance what tuning <coughs> sir okay na then <clears throat> what are this all these are what sir activities all these are dba activities roles and responsibility you must know what installation you must know creating the database you must know creating the logins database backup and restore export moving the database from one server to another server database upgradation and migration performance tuning improving the performance so all these activities are dba database admin activities then sir i am actually uh, i joined as i joined for full stack dot net okay na so for full stack dot net the they said sql server is required okay that's why i am coming to this class then what you need you need only this part only you need development you don't need dba part okay na for dot net developers java developers power bi developers tableau developers for all the developers what is required only development part is required you must know how to create the tables how to write queries how to what is views what is indexes you must know all this but you don't know what sir you don't need admin part you don't need admin part then we has to learn admin part who wants to develop the career in sql server i want to become a sql server developer i want to become a sql server developer not power bi not dotnet etc i want to purely go into sql server side 
I want to become a SQL Server developer. Ah, then you must know. You must know both. What is that? Development plus admin part. So, but you want to become a .NET developer, then you don't need admin part. Just what is enough? Development is enough. <clears throat> okay, na? Right. But in this class, in this class, so after completing this course. He'll be learning how to create WhatsApp database. He'll be learning how to create logins, how to take WhatsApp backup, restore, how to export import. He'll be learning this. Okay, now that. <clears throat> so that's all. This is what activities of WhatsApp developer and activities of what admin. <clears throat> that. So, in the next class, I'll show what you have to download. What are the what? What are the versions of WhatsApp SQL Server? What are the versions of SQL Server, and which version you have to download? What are the various versions are there, and which one you have to download? So we'll see that. Okay, then. <clears throat> so actually. See, these are the versions. <clears throat> oh, these are the versions. <clears throat> then. <clears throat> So these are the versions. <clears throat> and versions are there from what? One. So it is released in what? 1991. Next 4.2 released in 93. 6 is released in 95. 6.5. 96. Like 2019. Sir, actually starting from 2000 onwards, and this version alien, the version is a sequence number one, two, three, four, like this. But starting from 2000, the versioning is based on year, year based versions. A scale server 2000 means it is released in 2000 year. 2019 means it is released in 2019. So this version is based on what year? <clears throat> Even if you go to Oracle also. Okay, na? Oracle, Oracle 12C means released in 2012, 18C, 19C is there, 21C is there. Ah, oh, means this is released in 2012, it is released in 18, it is released in 19, it is released in 21. So they also follow the same standards, year based, year based versions. Okay, na? then. What is the difference between one version to another version? Um, changes, features. So to the 2014, some extra features are added and the released one, 2016. Some new features added, released one, 17. Some new features added, released one, 2019. So one version to another version, what are the, some features? Okay, now that. So we'll discuss this in the next class. Okay. Yeah. Any doubts in this? Oh. Huh? There is no, there is no limit. It, it depends on your RD size. Okay. Na? Your RD size is 500 GB. Then you can. There is no limitation, okay? Na? It depends on your free, free uh, like uh, in hard disk, your hard disk size.
ఇది గూగుల్ క్లాస్ రూమ్ క్రియేట్ చేస్తారు అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ ఐ కెన్ అప్లోడ్ ద నోట్స్ దే క్రియేట్ గూగుల్ క్లాస్ రూమ్ ఓకేనా రెండు వస్తాయి దీంట్లో ఓకేనా నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ లో వస్తుంది అది ఆ డిస్కషన్ ఓకే ఏమక్కర్లే బాస్ దానికి పోతే నేను రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ అడుగుతుంది ఎంటర్ చేయి డీటెయిల్స్ అంతే మెసేజ్ ఏం రాదు నీకు ఆఫ్లైన్ స్టూడెంట్ ఎందుకు వస్తుంది ఆన్లైన్ లో రిజిస్టర్ అయితే వస్తుంది ఓకేనా ఇప్పుడు ఇది ఉంది కదా లింక్ ఈ లింక్ ద్వారా అటెండ్ కానీ వస్తుంది అంటే వాళ్ళు ఆన్లైన్ లో రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ చేసుకొని ఉంటారు ఇప్పుడు మీకు ఈ లింక్ ఉంది కదా నేను ఇచ్చాను కదా తీసుకోండి ఇది తీసుకోండి ఇప్పుడు ఇచ్చాను కదా దాని చాలు అదే బాస్ జూమ్ లింక్ ఇచ్చాను దీంట్లో క్లాస్ అటెండ్ కాండి అంటున్నాను క్లాస్ అటెండ్ కాండి ఓకేనా జూమ్ లింక్ ఇచ్చాను మీటింగ్ ఐడి పాస్వర్డ్ ఉంది మీటింగ్ ఐడి ఇది పాస్వర్డ్ లేదు పాస్వర్డ్ లేదు మీటింగ్ ఐడి పాస్వర్డ్ అవసరం లేదు సో దెన్ దీని ద్వారా నువ్వు కనెక్ట్ కావచ్చు క్లాస్ వినవచ్చు ఇక్కడ నేను చెప్పే క్లాస్ అక్కడ నీకు వస్తుంది ఎస్ ఓకేనా నీకు మొత్తం కవర్ అవుతుంది నీకు ఎస్ డిఫినెట్ గా డిఫినెట్ గా okay guys so this class is for everyone this class is for dotnet student this class is for 